We came back from France, where I'd been for four years with my stepfather, who had an American Red Cross hospital over there. We came back in the late, late fall of 1918, when the war, World War I was over. And I went to school for a couple of years after that, having been sadly lacking in education. And as soon as I came back, that would have been about 21, I started working in the old West Side emergency, which in those days was quite different from what it is now. There was a desk in the front, and I worked as a sort of a receptionist. It was all done in longhand, no typing, no computers, nothing of that sort. And the people came in, and you asked them who they wanted to see and what they wanted to do, and then you charged a, a magnificent sum of $5, and that was what they put down. Now, I hate to tell you what it is. So in those, it was partly clinic and partly emergency. I think it was called emergency, but the places that I worked was, might be called clinics. I ran the well, ba well Baby Clinic for several years, which went once or twice a week. And in those days, there were no doctors assigned full time, but it was pediatricians around the city that took the duty. And then I also ran the eye clinic for quite a long time. And I think that was Dr. Lerner ran that for a while, always late, never arrived on time, always late. But we had a very good time, and I enjoyed that very much. Then I got more into the emergency part of it, and I worked there in the old emergency until still more or less at the desk and doing the clinic things until we moved over to Northside. How about um, the period of time when you were not here in Rochester, the period of time when you served Second World War with the American the Red, Red Cross, Cross yeah. for which you received exemplary comments. Well, my husband went back in the service in the fall of 1940. And on the 1st of January, 41, I went down with the three children, and we moved into Alexandria, Virginia, which was the headquarters, and still is, of the Eastern Area Red Cross, American Red Cross. And I started to work there almost as soon as I got down. And as soon as he went overseas in 1942, I worked full time there. And I worked full time for three years until the war was over. And at that time, it was really the startup of the American Red Cross Volunteer Nurses Aid Service. When I started to work in the eastern area, there were 400 volunteer nurses aides. When I finished, there were over 44,000. And my boss was Helen Lippman. Walter Lippmann in the National Red Cross in Washington. And of course, we were sort of the guinea pig eastern area being so close. If she didn't like something or like the way it was going, she would call up and say, please don't do it, or have you got any ideas? And we were, there was a very close connection at that time between the National and the eastern area Red Cross. That was extremely interesting. I had a desk and I had a secretary, and I did all the volunteer end of it. And we had an amazing woman called Mrs. Bertha Jones, who ran all the professional nursing in. We traveled all over the place. When I first started, the eastern area went from Maine to Florida and west of the Mississippi and covered a lot of ground. When we actually got in the war, it was cut up into different southern, eastern, so on and so on parts. But the, the job still went on. And then at one point in that, uh, while I was working there, I happened to know the head of the Air Force uh, general, the doctor, and I asked him why we couldn't have volunteer nurses aides, Red Cross, in some of the military hospitals. And he said, well, that wasn't such a bad idea. So he looked into that. And that was run entirely, really, off, over my desk. And we had them in 27 military hospitals. And they came from all over, but mostly from our, a great many from around right here. And it was really an immensely successful program, which I was terribly proud. Certainly putting 44,000 nurses' aides into private and military hospitals at a period of time when nurses so uh, were, scarce. were being taken from the hospitals and used in the military yeah. uh, had to be a tremendous benefit to, to both community medicine military medicine and the whole war effort. Yes, I think it was. And we were fortunately, that was the Red Cross, I think, very strict. You had to take an 80-hour course, which of course seems ridiculous, but it was quite a tough course. You had to guarantee at least 50 hours a month. May, may I yeah. interrupt? 
this is volunteer work. You're oh, yes, strictly. Mm -hmm. How many hours a week did you spend on this? Oh, I, I suppose I turned in about 50 hours a week at, at, at all the time I was in Alexandria. Volunteer requirement was 50 hours a month. That's right. You were 50 yeah. hours a, a week. week. And then I worked at night in the Alexandria Hospital uh, emergency room.